The sympathetic nervous system, fight, flight, fright and freeze, switches on when we're excited, we need to focus under pressure or threatened or just being on the rampage about to have an argument with somebody. And this is only a problem when it's on all the time. And the neurotransmitters and hormones that tend to be raised when we're in fight or flight or in the sympathetic nervous system would be cortisol, adrenaline, noradrenaline and glutamate. And glutamate is very, very important for memory and learning, but too much can cause neuroinflammation. And too much cortisol can make you feel wired and tired all the time, and it affects your sleep and you're more likely to store belly fat. But on the converse, no cortisol would mean you'd be dead, and very low cortisol means you've got something like adrenal fatigue, where you can't get up in the morning and everything's exhausting. So it's about having the right balance of these neurotransmitters and hormones. I've made another video about the parasympathetic nervous system which is rest, digest and detox and how to switch that on. But just to finish off this video, the very best thing you can do to manage your cortisol levels would be to fix your body clock because cortisol is a light driven hormone and too much blue light at the wrong times of the day is going to put your cortisol up in the evening when you're trying to sleep or it's going to not be up in the morning when you need to get going in the day. So super simple, seeing the sunrise, getting light in the morning around about the time when the UV rises up and then minimizing your blue light or artificial light exposure in the evening is the very first step to starting to balance your body clock. A balanced body clock is getting to the root of an issue and when you haven't solved the root cause of a problem, no amount of supplements are going to help. And it's very, very simple to manage your light environment and remember the sun is free as well. So thanks for watching and tune in for my parasympathetic nervous system video where I give you some other tips of how to help calm yourself.